What's going on, boys? Minuscule Mitch here, back once again. Guys, we just finished up doing the uh, giveaway on Twitch. It was a really good time. Uh, the joke that won was absolutely hilarious. The chat was going crazy. It was a really fun time. Um, definitely going to be doing another giveaway at 500 subs. So I don't know what we're going to do yet, but uh, just stay in touch. Stay in tune. Hopefully we grow a little bit more. Um, really loving all the support on the channel. It's been really fun lately. Uh, but today, guys, we got Road to Glory number four. So what we're doing today is, as you saw, we have Neymar, so you know where he's going. And then we had 400k because we packed that sun in the last video. So I'm going to start out with Neymar. You guys already know he's on the team. He's probably going to be on the team for the whole year. He's not going anywhere. Next up, we're going to start in goal, and we're going to work our way up. We have Neto. Nothing crazy special about him. He's six foot three, a good goalie, good diving, handling reflexes. Nothing insane. We throw a, a glove on him to boost his uh, what is that boost? His diving, handling, and positioning. Good enough goalie to get the job done. Goalies don't really matter too much in FIFA to me. Next up, guys, right back, the player whose jersey I'm wearing right now, one of my favorite players in real life, Mr. Juan de Saca. Uh, 83 rated. Cost us 31,000 coins with a shadow card. Got four star skills, which I really like. Medium high, which is perfect for a right back. He's six foot, so he's got a little bit of height to him. Stats are impeccable. He's got really good speed, really good defending. His dribbling's really good. He's got good agility and balance, reactions, decent enough composure, and then his um, physicals are pretty decent as well. We have a shadow on there, which bo uh, boosts his pace and his defending very high up. Uh, next up, center back, guys. First center back, we have Diego Carlos. Cost us, let's see, 46,000 coins with a shadow card. He's got a four-star weak foot, which is nice. 6'1", medium high. Uh, he's got really, really good speed on his base card. Really good defending. 86 strength. Decent enough stamina. His reactions and composure are good. Agility is not the best in the world, but as a center back, it's not a game changer. It's not going to kill us. Uh, and then we switch over to the next center back, which is, of course... At Hermitatel. Now we have him on tradable. He's got a 30k card. We throw a shadow on him. Gets his uh, pace and defending pretty much maxed out here. And then his physicals are really good as well. He's got 85 stamina, 83 aggression, 85 heading. Uh, the agility is not great. The balance is not great. But everything else in that category is just fine. 6 1, medium high. Again, perfect. <clears throat> and then on the left back, we have Mr. Alex Tellez. Didn't get his Manchester United version because we don't need him in this team as of right now. Did throw a shadow on him as well. Uh, Three-star, two-star, left-footed, which is nice. He's high, high. Uh, really good pace, really good defending. 91 stamina. Um, dribbling's decent enough. He's got really good passing and shooting on this card as well. Uh, he's got the solid player trait. Uh, he's got the team player, the outside the foot shot trait. So he's a guy that can get up down the field and score some goals for us as well. Next up, our first midfielder. It's going to be Paulinho. Chinese league, absolute stud. Got a shadow on him. He's going to be playing defensive for us. High, high, four-star, four-star, six-foot, 92 stamina. Green's across the board. Really good dribbling, really good defending, especially with the shadow on there. Um, good enough pace, uh, shooting, passing, everything solid with him. He's got the power free kick trait, finesse shot trait. It's a really, really good card in the game. Only costs us 6K as well. Uh, center mid, now... You guys are going to see, this is just how I put the team together. This is not how I play him in-game. We have Gabriel Jesus with a Hunter card on him. Uh, paid 67 and a half for him. Four-star, three-star, high, high. High defensive, I don't love, but he doesn't really feel it on the instructions I have on him. 5'9", uh, so not the biggest guy in the world, but his stats are incredible. 91 agility bounce, uh, 90. Good stamina, good pace, really good finishing. Gets boosted up to a, I think it's more than a 92 when he gets on uh, his 10 chem. Um, so those are pretty much 90s across the board for pace and shooting. And then he does have the flare trait, which is nice. And uh, he's just a really good card in this game so far for me. Next up, uh, again, not a traditional center mid, but it's going to be Anthony Marshall. This guy is so expensive, and I don't know why. He's 150k, and I had to snipe him. Uh, we have the sniper on him. He's four star, three star, six foot, medium, medium. He plays as our left cam in a four two three one. Really good pace, really good uh, shooting, dribbling, physical, absolute stud. He's got the finesse shot trait, outside the foot shot trait, flare trait. Uh, just really, really solid card. Then we move over to the right forward. Uh, where is he? Right wing, I believe. 
Yep, Bernardo Silver with a hunter card on him. Uh, he only cost us, yeah, 23k. Four star, three star, left footed, high, high. Um, really good pace, really amazing dribbling. He feels so good in game. Now, there's a stat on this card that doesn't make any sense to me, and it's his shooting. His shot power feels insane in game, and it's only a 76 on his card, so I really don't understand that. He's got the outside the foot shot, the flare tra or trait. 93 stamina. It's just a really, really solid card. And then to wrap it all up, guys, we have... It's going to be a weird one. Inform Renato Sanchez. We have an engine on him. He's our workhorse in the middle. Four-star, four-star, high, high, 5'9". 91 stamina, 80 strength, 88 aggression. Good dribbling, 93 balance, uh, 79 composure, 89 long shots. Good pace, good defending, good passing. He's got the flare trait. He's an absolute stud. Uh, and then, so that's the team, guys. It's 400k pretty much on the dot right now. Um, so, not, you don't get a lot for 400k, but that's what you get. And this team's been really amazing for me, guys. I have not lost a lot of games with this team. I think I'm like 8-2 and two in 10 games in Rivals. Um, and then, this is how it looks in-game. So, whoops. Man, I'm still getting all these instructions. It's attacking. It's a 4-2-3-1. So we have, the defense stays the same, but we have Rondo Sanchez and Paulinho, Paulinho as our CDM. Marshall is our left cam. Silva at central cam because he's a little bit slower. Neymar at uh, right cam just because he's got that five-star weak foot. He can cut in finesse. And we have Gabriel Jesus up top. My four attacking players, they all stay forward and stay the position. Um, the CDM stay central and they stay back while attacking. And I also have my left and right back to stay back while attacking. My goalie comes for crosses and is a sweeper keeper. Um, seems to work really well for me. I don't mess with this at all, the tactics really. Um, I might later down the road when I kind of get into the weekend league and can feel the game a little bit better. But guys, that's the team as of right now. Um, we're going to be do, do, uh, doing some more things to get some more coins here over the next week. And then of course, next weekend, a week from today, we have our very first weekend league, which is going to be crazy, guys. So... Looking forward to that. This is the team we have now. Um, hopefully a lot of improvements to come still before we even get into our first uh, foot champs, but we will see. Um, if you guys did enjoy the video, if you have any changes that you'd like, leave it down in the comments. Um, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.